I'm gonna show you how to get the back seat out of your two-door Jeep Wrangler JL. Now this is gonna be good for 2018 to 2023 Jeep Wrangler JL two doors. Uh, let's get right to it. I'm also gonna show you what those straps are for on the back of that back seat. So let's get right into it. So I thought this would be a great time to show you how to get this back seat out since we have the top off of this two-door Rubicon here because um, it's just gonna be a little bit easier to get back there. But anyways, the other thing I was talking about are these straps. What are they for? I thought maybe they were to pull the seat out, um, but that's not what they're for. I'll show you what they're for in a second. To get this seat up, you can uh, press or hit this latch right here. It'll kind of go, it'll release, and then it'll fold up like so. So if you're driving and you got it up like that, it's gonna just bounce. So those straps are meant to be able to hold this seat down. And if you put it, if you grab the strap, you'll notice that it's like got a Velcro end on it. We can put it right through this loop right here, which is what this is for. And then you can tighten it. And guess what? That seat's not gonna bob as much. And you can get it really tight and make sure that it doesn't really go anywhere. So that's what those straps are for. And a pretty nifty little thing. Never knew what they were for until I had to figure it out for this video. Anyways, uh, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is pull this bar and it'll release. Now I'm gonna have to uh, put my phone on a stand here for the next part. So now that you have uh, the seat up like that and you've pressed that bar, you're gonna wanna press it and then kinda just tip it back and it'll release. Now these are on rollers so you can kinda roll it forward so it gets out of the uh, clamps down there. And then what you're gonna wanna do is kinda get in here a little bit and turn this seat so that you can get it out. And once you get it this far, you can kinda put it on its side and uh, you can grab right here. It's a pretty good handle. Kinda lift it and slide it back. Be careful not to hit your subwoofer if you have one. And then you can just set it down. So you can see just how much space is back there when that seat is out of there, which is, you know, really nice if you don't, really don't have anybody riding with you or if you got pets, uh, that'd be great uh, spot for them. But you can see the seat right there. So this seat is right around 68 pounds. I believe it's just a little bit over 68 pounds. So, uh, and this is the leather one. And uh, so it's a little heavy. You may need help with it. It's just kind of bulky and hard to take out. And uh, I'll show you when we put it back in because you're gonna wanna make sure that it's in correctly because if it's not in correctly, it could be very dangerous. And uh, we'll do that right now. All right, so now you're gonna wanna put it in pretty much the exact same way that you took it out. Grab the sides again, lift up. Make sure you get over that subwoofer. Kind of slide it in at an angle until you get to a certain point. And then you can lift it up in there position it and get it ready to go. So you can see if uh, we didn't have the top off, this would, you'd have to be down and it'd be kind of tricky to do. So it just makes it a little easier. So you wanna make sure that you get it lined up with its brackets, because if you don't line it up with your brackets, it can be a real pain. So now I got it over the first set of brackets, which are right there. And now you just have to make sure that you get it over the next set and that it's right in the middle. Because if it's not in the middle, it won't work. So when it goes down, it'll click and you'll see this bar go up. If that bar doesn't go up, you could uh, create a major problem. And I'll show you that in just a second here. So now that that's in, push this down, grab your strap, and that'll lock it into place. If you don't have the front part right, this won't lock into place, and then the seat will actually be able to rock forward, which would be very dangerous if anybody was to actually sit back there. So that's how you do it, in and out, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. In fact, in a second, there'll be a link to subscribe to the YouTube channel in the upper left-hand part of the screen, a link to more demonstration videos in the upper right, and a link to more Wrangler videos in the bottom of the screen. So click those, check us out, Really appreciate it and thanks again for checking out the video.